So why don't we go over and sit in those two chairs? Here, as if we're settling some of the problems of the nation. Thank you, sir. How's it going? Well, we had a real good thing happen when we all won. We have another Democratic uh, candidate jump into the race, and now it's four against one. And the odds are getting better and better. And my issue is obvious with the drug issue, uh, with the crack. And I did a New York Post interview yesterday, a debate with them, and I really got them pretty good with their Queen's corruption. And I hit them that now two of the head candidates are going, head head, uh, going to get against each other. The two top Democratic candidates are going and attacking each other. So the, the race is setting up beautiful, and your help and the Republicans' help here is really going to get us over, and we will be here in November again. Well, by golly. We, we have a movie also, you know, with Lorimar about my police career. That's the police what department. I understand. Yeah, we are doing a screenplay right now, and there's just one thing I want to find out. Sylvester Stallone's interested in it, but uh, you're going to be retiring in another couple of years. I just want to know if you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think I'm uh, a little long in the truth for that anymore. But say, why don't we give her one straight on here? Just a smile, though. All right. We're going to surprise the tight time Democrats with this seat because it's set up the way it is, sir. It's set up that uh, they're not going to come out and vote. And before they know it, on June 11th, we're going to have another Republican representative from Queens. We only, ha we, we only have one over there, and we're going to do well. Well, by golly, listen, and I do know about your, your record and all of that, and uh, I look forward in the limited time I've got left and being able to call on you to intimidate a few of those characters on the other side. <laughs> well, when they told me to go have debates in the middle of the uh, real black areas, they felt as though I wasn't going to go, but I, I'm, I'm waiting to go. And yesterday they had three against one, and I feel very comfortable with them three and myself, and I think we're going to really, really do some shocking to them on June 10th. And I appreciate you letting me come, sir. Well, listen, Thank you, sir. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. All right. He was, well, he was in the detail of decoy, where he was a decoy, and was robbed 500 times for that. But some of the other things, he was solving two of the city's most publicized crimes, made over 1,400 felony arrests. The average cop makes 120 during his career span, and mugged over 500 times while working in the decoy unit. Says he was the closest thing New York had to a dirty Harry. The kind of old-fashioned cop who preferred working the streets and making arrests to taking tests toward promotion. He was, once he got involved in his cases also and took it upon himself to protect his citizen witnesses from threats and violence before and after. I see who came.